So I have the Hisense Vida Smart TV over here. And in this video, I will show you how to download and play games on your Hisense Vida Smart TV. Now for you to download games on your Smart TV, what you just want to do is to go over to the App Store. So you just want to scroll down to the list of um, apps here and you want to scroll horizontally to the end of the list. And you can basically see the Vida App Store over here. And what you just want to do is to go ahead and click on the App Store of your Hisense Smart TV. Now it's just going to take a while for it to load. And you also want to make sure that you're connected to the internet or else this will not work. Now over here, you can see that there are different applications, both streaming application, um, entertainment application, news application, and they are all arranged in different um, categories. And what you want to go ahead and do is to basically scroll down to the list of gaming applications and you can basically scroll horizontally and find any gaming application you want to download into your smart TV. So in this case, I'm just going to try and download um, this car racing application over here. And once I click on it, it's just going to take a while and you can see the install button over there. So I'll just click on OK on my remote control and it's going to take a while and then it will be installed in my TV. Now I can go ahead and open this application on my TV and start playing the game with my remote control. Over here, you will find out that there are actually limited applications in this particular app store. But what you want to do if you want to get more options to download more application is to basically make sure that you go to the game center. Now you can just click on the open button and it's just going to take a while for it to load. And then you are going to see more options of more applications to download. You can see that there are so many more um, games here and I can go ahead and download any of these applications or start playing them online directly from the game center. Now, if you're looking at downloading Android games or playing Android games on your Hisense Smart TV, uh, if you do have an Android TV, then you can basically go to the App Store just as we have done like this and you're going to be able to find any application or any game that is available on the Google Play Store just on the App Store of your Android TV. But if you're using a Hisense TV like mine, which has the Vida operating system, then you can't get Google's Play Store and as such, you can't actually download Android apps or play Android games on your Hisense Smart TV. Now, what you want to do to solve that is to basically get a TV box. If you do not know what a TV box is, it is actually an independent um, device that actually gives your TV the ability to access the Google Play Store and to also download any application that is on the Google Play Store. In this case, I personally recommend that you go for the Google Chromecast. It is very cheap and you can actually use it to download any application that is available on the Google Play Store. Once you plug it to any of the HDMI ports on your TV, trust me, you can basically access any application um, and game that is available on the Google Play Store. I'm going to drop a link in the description of this video where you can get it from Amazon at affordable price. So if you want to get it, please make sure you check the link in the description of this video and go and get one for yourself. Another way you can play games on your Hisense Smart TV is to basically connect your TV to an external device. Now this can be a game box like uh, the PS5 or the Xbox, or you can also connect it to your mobile phone or even your laptop. In my case, I usually like to connect it to my laptop. Now there are two ways to go about this. For mobile devices or your laptop, you can basically cast your screen to your TV by just um, using the screen casting option on your Hisense Vida Smart TV, which you can actually find here. So you can actually use the screen sharing option on your Hisense Vida Smart TV from here, or Another way to go about this is to basically connect your TV to the external device using a, using a HDMI cable. What you want to do is to basically plug one end of the HDMI cable to your TV, that is the any HDMI port on your TV, and then you want to go ahead and plug the other end to your device. After you must have done that, you want to go over to your TV, click on the input button on your TV remote. Uh, you can see the input button over here. And then you want to go ahead and choose any of the HDMI ports where the HDMI cable is plugged on your TV. Trust me, this is actually one of the best way you can actually play any game from your Android device to your mobile phone or even from PS5 or Xbox on your TV directly. And trust me, this way is actually faster and way more smooth than casting your screen to the TV. That will be all on today's video, guys. If this video was helpful, please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more interesting tech tips like this one.